Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, so, uh, as usual, we must cultivate our motivation, you know. So, uh, we must uh, think about bodhicitta and uh, we must uh, teach and we must listen um, to the teaching with the influence of that thought. With the intensity of that thought, so that sometimes uh, uh, we uh, we might forget about uh, the altruistic mind, altruistic thought. But if you at the beginning, if you uh, think very strongly with the power, with the force, uh, the, 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 the influence will stay longer or maybe uh, whole duration, uh, the, the, some kind of influence might be there. So with that intention, we must cultivate our motivation, think about the bodhicitta, so that wish for uh, the Buddha, uh, Buddha, Buddhahood uh, for the sake of all sentient beings. And then uh, for, that I, uh, for that I have to practice Buddha Dharma. For that I have to know how to practice and uh, uh, how, for that I must uh, learn, so therefore I'm going to listen to this teaching. That is, that, that should be the motivation, right? So uh, our target is, today. today's target is to finish this, at least to finish this chapter, so that uh, next time we will not be confused which chapter we, from which chapter we have to start, right? Oh, so therefore, uh, we'll try, so because uh, yesterday we discussed uh, a lot, so we couldn't go very far. So today we try to finish. Yes. Um, Fourteen, right? Yeah, thirteen, finish, okay. So now the 14th is the Dung Teaching Dajana Yanda Yanda Teaching the Yedro Nana Chimwata Chia the Shantra Noma Juice. Even today I continue in such a way that I shall repeatedly attain bad rebirths, disease, and death, I have limbs cut off and be clipped apart. And uh, the other translation, uh, and if I continue to act like this again and again, shall I have to go? in unhappy rooms, sickness, bondage, and uh, or research, what is this? Laceration. and uh, the shedding of blood. Shedding of blood. So this you understand, right? No need explanation, right? Yeah. So we go further down. Okay. Uh, when shall I find such rare circumstances again? The arising of the Tagata faith, the human state itself, the capacity to practice skillful deeds. Uh, mm, uh, if the arising of the Tagata faith, the attainment of human body and my, be uh, my being fit to cultivate virtue are uh, Yes. When will they be born again? So uh, this also yesterday, I think we discussed quite in detail. So you understand. I, I assume you understand. You know. Uh, so the uh, uh, yeah, uh, Buddha come to this world, uh, the precious uh, human beings uh, uh, to to get precious human forms and uh, to at least to practice some Buddha Dharma, that is not very uh, common and uh, it is very rare. So you, we have, we have to, we must uh, waste our time. And then, Nene Yima Dita Bhusayasya Sama Medyan Sene Kishi Lohwa Dhuini Thang Zinyan Bhushin 
Okay, that, that is uh, uh, held at this day, right? Yeah. Held at this day, and this day, with food and freedom from disaster, in a moment, life breaks its promise. The body is like an object on loan. Uh, okay. Although today I am healthy, well nourished, and un unaffected, life is momentary and deceptive. The body is like an object on loan. For but uh, for but for but huh? but a minute but a minute you know at the, at the moment maybe uh, you are free from any kind of diseases so you are well, uh, you are well being and um, you, know, you have food you have uh, not, uh, not obvious problems uh, at the moment <coughs> uh, but but but. Uh, but you cannot uh, uh, take it guaranteed. Uh, the life is very deceptive, and uh, your body is like a like a like a reflection in a mirror. You know. Mm -hmm. The human spirit is never achieved again by such acts as mine. When the human state is lost, there is only evil. evil, evil. How could there be good? So, with behavior such as this, I shall not win a human body again, and if this human form is not attained, there will be so solely wrongdoing and no virtue, no virtue, right? So, so uh, you know what is the cause for to take uh, what is the cause to take liberty? Upper realms, you know that there's a, there's a, there's a only one cause. So that is uh, uh, to follow the shila, you know shila, morality, you know shila. That is uh, uh, ethics, you know the moral ethics. So that the, what are the moral ethics? That is. Uh, and generally, uh, which applies to all beings, that is, ten, ten, ten non-religious actions. So you, if, uh, even if you take a one vow, like uh, you promise not to get engaged into one of these actions for your whole life, for example, Killing action. That is moral ethics. That is morality. That is shila. So, so that is uh, uh, and or or uh, one morality that is like uh, I will never lie, and uh, in my whole life, particularly the, uh, when we talk about the ten non versus actions. Uh, that, uh, not all the lies, but particular lie. That is a hypocritical lie. So that that is uh, easy to make a pro promise. It's not that difficult. And uh, then killing actions also, uh, you can take like take a vow, like um, I wouldn't, I will not kill any human beings in my life. No matter what will happen to me. That is another easy vow you can take. That is another easy vow you can take. But if you would, if you say I will not kill any beings, that would be a little difficult. Uh, although we don't kill, um, uh, you know, we are not butchers. We don't kill sheep or what do you call that, pig or 
<laughs> because uh, <coughs> uh, any, that kind of animals, but small flies, sometimes we don't know, sometimes without knowing, we, without the intention, we, sometimes we can kill flies, like mosquitoes, whatever, you know. So it is not, uh, not that easy to stop all kinds of killings, even though we don't do big killings. But the human, the killing of human being is quite easy. So you can take that kind of vows, that kind of pledge, you know. And then, like, uh, uh, do you, uh, are you aware of uh, uh, the vow of lay people? No. They vow or lay, lay people. So, you know, the, the vow of lay people, and then you have law of, uh, sorry, vow of uh, uh, monks and nuns, and then you have bodhicitta uh, vow, and then you have tantra vow. You know, that's big uh, elements. So, when you uh, take a uh, lay vow, there are actually there are five points uh, that you uh, that you can make a promise that I wouldn't do. So, all, uh, but if you cannot take uh, make a promise uh, of all five, then you can make a promise one or two or three or four or all of them. It's like it, it goes like that. So that that is uh, very uh, uh, that is very important because taking vow, you know what is you don't do killing, you don't we don't almost we don't kill human beings. That doesn't make uh, you are following um, shila morality. Uh, okay, so you have to take the vow. When you take the vow, then you made a promise. When you make a when you make a promise, then that promise stays with you. And from that onwards, uh, then uh, you are with that vow. So you, whether you are sleeping, whether you are talking, whether you are walking, your vow is still with you. So otherwise just not doing it because while we are sleeping, we almost we do none of those bad actions. But it doesn't mean that you are accumulating men. So when you have the vow, then while you are sleeping, you have the vow. 24 hours, the vow is with you. So you are gaining some equipment, uh, some merit all the time. So that's why it is recommended for all the lay people you know, to take uh, the lay vow. And the uh, lay vow, if you, uh, you can make a promise of one of them or uh, two of them, three of them, five of them, all. All, all of them. So that is kid, uh, no killing, no lying, lying, hypocritical lie. And then stealing, stealing, all stealing. There's no particular stealing. Uh, yeah. So all kinds of stealing is uh, counted as a stealing vow, you know, breaking, you break the steal. So this is very, it is not easy for us. Stealing is a uh, are not easy for us. So if you are not going to take the whole vow, then you don't take the stealing vow. Because uh, uh, I think one way or the other, one time or the other, we, we do stealing. But stealing doesn't mean that you go to some other people's house and take things from that house, or you snatch the purse, from the person, or the, that is that is of course stealing, but uh, not only that, you know, the things that you you are not entitled to get, and you you skillfully try to get it, or talk nicely, or bribe somebody, or so you make fake promises, you know, something, you do all kinds of things to get that. 
this is no matter it's a small or it's a big property or big business or small what what no maybe ten dollars whatever it is it doesn't make a, a difference so so stealing that is stealing action so that is one of them and then you then what you do then Uh, stealing then sexual misconduct and uh, and then so there are uh, in, in sexual misconduct uh, there are maybe six, seven eight different kinds of uh, not only adultery but seven eight different kinds of uh, conducts are there and then oh then uh, not uh, not drink uh, you know alcohol. And that includes, I believe, um, that includes uh, these days drugs and so forth, which makes your mind dull, and which makes your mind uh, um, uh, not normal. You know, it, uh, your mind that doesn't work normally. So all these are intoxicate, intoxication. You know. So uh, uh, drugs or any kind of things uh, which are intoxicating. They might, they must be considered as one of them. So, <clears throat> so only uh, those uh, moralities, if you practice those moralities, or one of them, or two of them, three of them, or, and then uh, if you can, of course, make promise not to get engaged into all of the ten non-virtuous actions, that's that's even better, and then better and better, and the bodhicitta vow and tantra vow, and then uh, you get better and better, right? But but for all, all of, everybody cannot take that kind of vow. So it is uh, we have to stick to what we can do at the beginning. Uh, so that that is that goes for uh, that goes as a cause to take rebirth in higher realms. So that is not only with the Buddhists, but, uh, but other religions also. They try, uh, they they practice. Uh, 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 non-violence, that is not killing. And there are other practices, Dharma practices, uh, they, they, nobody prays to, um, telling lie, and they, nobody prays uh, telling, uh, stealing. So they, their practices are there. So they also can take rebirth in uh, uh, higher realms without being a Buddhist. But because they have already created the cause. When the cause is there, then the result will be there. That is the law of nature. So you don't have to be Buddhist for that. But then, uh, to get a uh, precious human form, uh, for that you need more causes, not only the uh, morality, uh, <coughs> but also uh, there are more, co uh, more, more causes. There are three causes for that. Morality is the base, base, and then uh, the precious human form. That is, uh, you know already because we have discussed at the beginning of this teaching. So the precious human form. For that, you need uh, uh, the morality, and then you have you uh, some kind of practice of six paramitas. Uh, so six parameters when you practice, uh, you know, the generosity. We discussed the other day, the generosity, right? You remember? Right. So, and then uh, morality, and then patience, and so forth. So some kinds of these, kind, uh, uh, these practices must be there. And then uh, you make a prayer, wish, uh, uh, wish to take uh, uh, liberty in the form of precious human being. So that, that prayer also shouldn't be an uncontaminated prayer. So uncontaminated prayer means there's a stainless prayer. So that, sh that means uh, you shouldn't think for this life. You must think for other, uh, other future lives. So if you, do, uh, if you take vows, to become rich, or to become very tam famous, and so to become great success in what you are doing in this life, 
uh, if with this kind of intention, influence of this kind of intention, that becomes contaminated prayer or stained prayer, you know. So we need uh, uh, the uncontaminated, uh, we need to make uncontaminated prayers. So t with these three causes, you can uh, expect uh, a precious human form, you know. So, like this, at the moment, what we are doing, we all know what what we are doing. So, uh, with this kind of conduct, um, we are. It, it looks very difficult to get a human be a human form. And if we are not born in human form or higher realm, even in heaven realms, because uh, uh, it is a not easy to practice Dharma because they are so distract, distracted because they're, they're, uh, in heaven's, heaven's realm there is not much suffering, obvious suffering, you know. So like sickness and uh, these kind of obvious sufferings are not there, legal little sufferings are there, but subtle, subtler sufferings are there, but not obvious uh, uh, sufferings are not there. So then uh, it is, you are always distracted with the happiness, joy uh, in the uh, heaven realm. So you don't remember practice of Dharma. So you know, so e even in uh, uh, human form, human, uh, our human uh, form, when we are okay, you know, when we are happy, when we are rich, when we are Everything is going okay. Then, then we forget Papa, you know. Uh, so we then oh, I must visit the temple, but I don't have time, you know, uh, because uh, uh, and I have to off make an offering of butter then, but but I'm busy, you know. So we we forget when everything is everything looks okay. Then we say you are distracted. When when we are in trouble, then we ah. Uh, now, who can help me? Maybe I go to a temple, make an offering that might help me. Then we try to do practice dharma or whatever, you know. So we seek help. So, so actually, in worldly matters, that is okay. When you are in trouble, you seek help. Uh, uh, when you are not in trouble, you don't seek seek uh, help, that's okay. But in Dharma practice, uh, that is not okay, you know, because uh, it, is, uh, uh, it is another story. Uh, because we are talking about the future lives, and, the, and our future, even if at the moment you are not so uh, in bad shape, you are not in sorrow, you are quite mm, happy, but, but that is uh, temporary. So we want uh, permanent happiness. So uh, so we have we must practice Dharma uh, whether you are in good shape or whether you are in bad shape. So uh, so therefore the, uh, here he mentions uh, he didn't he does he doesn't mention that uh, uh, higher realms. He particularly says uh, human form. Because in hum if we get human form again we can continue with our practice. So that is, uh, uh, that is uh, you know, clear. And uh, uh, if, we don't, uh, 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 if we don't get human form, then uh, in heaven realm, as I told you, we, we don't remember to practice them. And uh, in the lower realms, it is so painful, uh, so we cannot remember them. It is impossible for us. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 for example, even in human realms, human form, uh, if you are you, you are in severe pain, you cannot uh, practice. That's not not possible. You cannot. Uh, you are just suffering. That's it. So, and and, and on top of that, uh, if we take rebirth in lower realms, there's no opportunity uh, to. Yeah, there's no opportunity to accumulate merit, but there's uh, always there's a huge opportunity to 
uh, accumulate non righteous actions. So, like animal dream, you see now, uh, animal dream, uh, they always kill, kill, kill each other, kill each other. So, the killing actions are uh, going on. So, they have a lot of chance to collect non righteous actions. But they don't have, they really don't have chance to co collect uh, uh, merit. So that we can see, you know, and they are good ones uh, among the animal realms. Uh, so that that's why he says that. Now the next chapter, the uh, next uh, verse is consecration. Can they give a dagger? Man, they are so beautiful. Come on, this is dagger. This is this is dagger. Now. If I do not behave skillfully, even when I am capable of skillful deeds, what then will I do when stupefied by the sufferings of the lower realms? If when I have the chance to live a wholesome life, my actions are not wholesome. Then what shall I be able to do when confused by the misery of the lower realm? Then you understand. I am quite sure. Okay. Now the next verse is. They do the Okay. So for one who does not act skillfully and heaps up evil, two. Even the idea of good rebirth is lost for hundreds of billions of eons. Uh, uh, hundreds of billions of eons. And the, the, the other translation, and if I commit no wholesome deeds, but, but readily amass much wrongdoings, then for hundred million eons, I shall not even hear the words, a happy life. So, once you are down there, then you have not, not, not much opportunity to do good actions. And that there are huge opportunity to do bad actions. So therefore, you go down and down, you die as an animal, you die, then you may go further down to uh, hungry gods and uh, realm, and then over there also the hatred, Jealousy, all of uh, all the all those are there. They fight each other. So uh, all the, but there's no chance to practice uh, good actions. So then they will go further down. That is hell realm. So there's no for many many years. There's no chance to hear about happiness. To experience happiness is far away. Even the word. Happiness you can you can't hear in those words. So therefore the next verse is the each in a chung day the association for each of the minish of Tonga souls. That is why the fortunate one declared that the human state is so hard to attain as likely as the turtle poking is snake through the hole of a yoke floating on the mighty ocean. <coughs> uh, the other translation. For these very reasons, the Buddha has said that as difficult as it is for a turtle to insert its neck into a yoke and drift upon the vast ocean, it is more difficult to attain the human state. Okay, that you understand, right? You might have heard this before. Have you heard? You have heard, right? So, no need explanation. <laughs> We don't make you do this. Okay. Uh, now, uh, the 21. 
Uh, that is why, no. Oh, through an act of evil committed in single instant, an eon is endured in the what is this? Abyss hell. Abyss hell. Abyss hell. What is abyss hell? Oh, okay. Uh, in the uh, the lowest lowest uh, in the hell dream, the the most most sufferingful place that is Ebich, must be Ebich. Yeah, hell. In the light of even keep up through time without beginning, what talk can there be of a good rebirth? 21, right? If even uh, that other translation, if even by the transgression of one instant, an eon may be spent in the deepest hell. So he said the deepest, deepest hell. A witch. Then because uh, uh, a witch must be Sanskrit word. Uh, then because of the transgressions I have gathered since beginless time, what need to mention my not going to a happy room. So here yeah, he says uh, if you, he refers to anger. If you, if you have an anger for a second, for a moment, for a second, uh, you have to live in the deepest, deepest hell for an eon. So we have accumulated a huge amount of merit, uh, huge amount of bad actions from beginless time. So, uh, so uh, you can make it out uh, that uh, it would be difficult for us to go to uh, higher level. So here we must uh, differentiate you know, that uh, not only uh, having an anger for a, for a second, not only, uh, not, uh, not all the angers, but uh, if you become angry with Bodhisattva for a second, then that would, uh, uh, just mention that would be the result. Because uh, if you get ang uh, anger towards Bodhisattva, uh, that anger becomes uh, very powerful uh, because the bodhisattvas are, as I mentioned uh, yesterday, day before yesterday, and so forth, you know, uh, they are dedicated for all sense and beings. So it is like if you get angry with a, a bodhisattva for a second, that means you are angry with a, uh, all things will be. So that becomes very powerful. So that result also be, will become very powerful. So that's the meaning of this sentence. And then, next verse, Thesam Kona Yongjone Tene Nantam Nijyote Gita Tene Yongjone Dipa Shedda Ramtu Kies So, 22, right? Yet having experienced that, one is still not released, since while experiencing it, one, uh, one what is this? Be, begets more evil still. Uh, 22nd. Uh, the other translation. You have experienced it merely that I shall still not be liberated for a while it is being experienced, other wrongdoings will be extensively produced. So, uh, so that is the period that we have to pay for uh, that anger, right? One eon is the period that we have to pay for the action. But not only that, uh, as we just discussed, um, uh, while you are there, uh, you will uh, commit more bad actions, more non-virtuous actions. So, uh, so uh, the result of those actions also may happen while you are there. So 
it looks like that it is very difficult to get out of it, you know. So that's, a, that, that's, that's what he says here. The next, the dead heaven, the journey, the dagi kebo, machena, the lady, the shame, the dilemma, the shame, the toast. So, there is no greater waste of time than this, nor is there greater folly that after attaining such a fleeting opportunity, I do not practice skillful deeds. Uh, I do not practice skillful deeds, right? Uh, skillful deeds. What about that? So, if so, if when having found leisure such as this, I do not attune myself to what is wholesome, there could be no greater deception and there could be no greater folly. Okay. So, so at uh, so at uh, at this time we are we have the opportunity. So if we don't take this advantage, so this is uh, uh, deceiving yourself, and uh, this is uh, there wouldn't be any uh, worse uh, situation for you than this. So the next, kade dagi te to na mo be chi ya ji lo na chi wo ju be chi ke se ya ngai se po da wo ni kong. Uh, and if I am sensible of this, but uh, confused, sitting down in this despair, despair, for a long time, I shall lament still more when summoned by Yama's messengers. Yama's messengers. Okay. And if having understood this, I still foolishly continue to be slothful when at the hour of uh, death arrives, tremendous grief will rear its head. Okay. So, if, if you still continue to be lazy uh, to practice Dharma, even uh, you have understood all those uh, opportunity, uh, the meaning of uh, getting great opportunity and so forth. Uh, then, uh, then uh, you will be very uh, regretful when when you when the time comes to leave to depart. Right. Next, you know the daily dream. The you give up the set. Remember, the simple you are doing me sounds. Where is it? Long the intolerable roasting of my body in hellfire, long the burning of the untrained mind in the flame of self-reproach. Uh, though I have somehow come to a... What? 25 hours. Okay. Uh, then if my body blazed for a long time in the unbearable flames of hell, Inevitably, my mind will be tormented by the fires of unendurable remorse. Uh, the next, she do not pay the sad. She should start the issue. The initiation of the issue was the same as the says. Uh, though, though I have somehow come to a, what is this, nine, an attainable place of advantage, and though I understand this, still I am led back to those self-same hells once more, once more. Uh, having found by some coincidence this beneficial state that is so hard to find, if now, while able to Discriminate, I once again am led into the hell. Uh, 
Ce montagne mai se de dacă cum ne ți și jos. Ah, ce montagne mai se de. I have no will in this matter, as if bewildered by spell. I do not understand by what am I perplexed. What is perplexed? Confused. Huh? Confused. Confused. Who dwells here with it, with me, within me? Uh, who dwells within me? who dwells within me. Then I thought I were hypnotized by a spell. I shall reduce this mind to nothing. Even I do not know what is causing me confusion, what is there dwelling inside me. So, uh -huh. so I don't understand, you know, why we are still We know, we have, we have some knowledge, you know, and we have some faith, and we also believe in this karmic system. Still, we do the wrong thing. That is exactly who we are. Now, there are many people in the world that they do not know. They have no idea about karmic system. They have no belief in karmic system. They have no faith in Buddha Dharma. But unlike that, We have some faith, some understanding, and still we are becoming so lazy to practice Buddha Dharma. So why? I don't understand what is uh, what is happening with me. So that is uh, there are so many causes. One is you don't understand properly. You couldn't produce stable, firm faith in karmic system or your intelligence is not enough to understand the karmic system or you don't have enough merit to understand the karmic system because uh, in Dharma knowledge it is not only up here in the brain it has to come from the heart You know, so so I I already uh, told some other time, maybe last year, that we we see a lot of professors who has a great knowledge about it, Buddha Dharma, and they they can talk hours on Buddha's teaching. They can talk hours and hours, like okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Idiot professors. Okay. So this is not to be recorded. <laughs> so there are uh, there are many professors who can uh, who can teach who can talk, but they are still they in, uh, in India. They, that is true. That I can tell. They uh, they they are. Uh, professors in Buddhist departments in different universities and they can talk about Nagarjuna's teaching and uh, maybe they can talk discuss about uh, uh, sutras but uh, they're still Hindus they have not become Buddhists even that means they, have, they, they couldn't develop faith in Buddha Dharma so that is the intelligence is there But what is lacking there? There is merit. Increase the merit that is lacking there, you know. So, uh, so we uh, we need merit. We need to accumulate merit so that we. And when you have enough merit. And if you are purified uh, enough, then the understanding 
comes automatically. And that is called realizations. Realizing attainments. So the uh, there's a uh, not you, you achieve attainments doesn't mean that you can fly in the air or you know you can walk on the ocean. That is magic. That is not attainment. So that is uh, there is some kind of magic you know that you do. <coughs> attainment is that if you realize the karmic system, if you realize emptiness, if you understand emptiness, if you under then that is attainment. Then you will become like those siddhas, you know, the Milarepa and the other, other 80 Mahasiddhis in India and Milarepa, Marpalosa and so forth in Tibet. We can also become like that. So that doesn't mean that uh, you cry or you, know, you do different strange things. That is not the attainment. The attainment is the realization of emptiness, generation, generating generation of bodhicitta mind within yourself. Those are the realizations, and that only comes with uh, a lot of different courses, not with the intelligence. When, uh, uh, for example, when Milarepa became, uh, when Milarepa was enlightened, then he he is enlightened. You know, he's obvious. But at the beginning. Maybe he's, he wasn't that intelligent. Like, you know, he didn't know, he never went to a school. He, uh, he never learned how to read and write. Was, he was born in a very poor family. And that time, the Tibet itself was very undeveloped, uncivilized almost, you know. So, but still, he realized all this, that is merit and uh, other causes, very important causes. So therefore, uh, he says, uh, why I'm like this? So the